Hello, Internet. This is Toastrovan. It's not going to work. You are mean. All right, I guarantee you this is going to work. Why don't right. you make, like, a river through the middle and then have, like, a ferry going across? You've been playing too much regular SimCity. I mean, not regular, stupid SimCity. What? Is it just, like, too expensive? Fine. Yay, I special. All right, anyway. Hello, Internet. This is Toaster Oven. I'm sure he will stop talking eventually. I'm going to leave you alone, though. God help him. <laughs> I hate you for that. We are now mortal enemies. Now, anyways, I'm doing a SimCity playthrough, and um, I did this already once before, finished the entire video, magically, and it didn't render properly. So I have to do another city. I will still name it Bentonville, though, because I named the last one Bentonville. Hearts to anybody who lives in a Bentonville. And I'll get right down to it. I was trying to be all nice and warm and fluffy, but now I'm kind of down to business. I'm just going to start up as fast as I can because I just wanted to get this over with more than anything. Um, I will have fun doing it, of course, because um, doing this is very boring unless you want to. So I'm going to cut straight to the chase, though. So I've been... I've played a decent amount of SimCity 4, uh, which is why I chose to play this as my, it, kind of my intro, kind of hello internet kind of thing. So without further ado, I bring you this lovely, well-planned city. I mean, th there's only one avenue here, so just, just just ignore it. The that the fact that that's there's only one. <laughs> uh, normally, what I do is I just do a T section in a town that's this small. On the very edge. I mean, in the very center, not the edge. What am I talking about? I'm too busy getting sidetracked doing my own little calculations. So, um. Basically what I did uh, last time, or in the failed recording, was I just told people how I operate. Ugh. It's glitches. Which is basically just uh, four wind turbines, two water towers, and then I work from there. Just a little bit of residential, bus stations all over the place to promote mass transit. And then houses start growing. Hooray! Now, unfortunately, with that house being boom that literally just happened, they're going to need a bunch of jobs, so what we're going to need to do is provide them with said jobs in the means of industry, because before anything else comes industry, unfortunately for the environment, so. I know you don't have anything, just give me a moment and you can have all the stuff in the world. I just need to do this first. It's okay, guys. You're getting power, I will feed you. Whoops. There we go. Are you happy now? They are happy now. And thus let the dirty industry revolution begin. What a pollution! And so, as everything else in this entire panel plummets, uh, we have environments and traffic going up magic- oh, wait, why is that going up? We just- Ah! I'm confused already. Dear God. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit because I just realized how fast I was talking there and how frustrated that I was over the fact that I had to completely redo this! Um, so I'll calm down a little bit. Hello. Everybody, this is my normal- my more normal self. And I am talking. And I am building houses. Building parks. And just built a fire station and a police station because I love the people. And I want a house. Next to them. Alongside the populace. So I'm going to build more houses because those are going to be in high demand. If they aren't already, uh, they already are. Yeah, there you go. So. No reason not to. BAM! Completely filled. 
That was actually pretty fast. I did not expect that to go that quickly. Boop. So, alright. No manufacturing over here. We even got commuters. Excellent. <laughs> Just occurred to me, we can toll this. <gasps> it works! Oh my god. Alright, so we're going to be tolling all the people that go across that bridge, which is going to be fantastic for our economy. Stimulus. And people want more and more houses, which is rather surprising to me. Not quite sure why so many people want to live in the city, but apparently they do, and I will not take that away from them. I will just go with it. Nom nom nom, I eat you. My house now. Now, as we see here, agriculture like loves to be in areas where there's dirty industry for some odd, unapparent reason. That seems to be what all of my cities do, at least the first ones in the region. And because of it, I'm going to make sure that they're all buddied up right next to each other. They don't even need water, which I think is hilarious. But Those ones do have water, so it's okay. It's all good. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few train networks. Oh, I didn't mean for that one to go down. Whoops. Because train networks significantly improve industry or the desire for industry to live or to come to the city. So Might as well, you know because industry is good and all. Might as well get as many people as we can even if it means killing all the crops. There we go. And just to make a little bit of a happy face land. Playground. Figured why not? Always nice. Um, the demand for commercial is actually growing, which is nice. Um, because as people get money over here, they can start buying things over here. All the merchants of the land love me for this. And so we almost have a thousand people of the population already, and we only spent 50,000. <coughs> Woohoo! Go me. But, of course, we've still got a long way to go before the city's developed enough to be considered amazing. So, on I, on I work. Might as well just make as many farms as I can in this area. I don't see a reason why not. And there we go. we got five farms. Oh, my God. All in this little area. I know if you make, like, bigger zoning... Agriculture gets a little bit more dense, but it doesn't like to pop up that often for me, so I just don't bother with it. Now, I'm a little curious. Uh, I want to experiment here with uh, densities. Uh, population densities, that is. And how quickly they will expand in the first city. So, like, you know, the demand's really high right there. I just... Oh wow, they immediately just go straight to it. Wow, we barely have anybody in this street or in this uh, town and already this is happening. Okay. So we've already got tenements and it's like yeah, what <laughs> barely our second year. So, that's interesting. Just got a healthcare thing and some some schooling. It's always nice. But yeah, I didn't expect that to grow like that quickly so nice yeah you see like all these people are moving in now we get a house a, a house of worship there we go it just looks ugly on its own so I'm just gonna put it out of its misery 
And wow, yeah, we. this is a good thing about putting in mass transit really early. Those bus stations right next to three of those tenements, so that one's got a choice between two. I guess they're kind of equidistant. These three that are popping up get that one right across the street, and it's beautiful, and they can just go to their factory jobs over there. And now everything's kind of positive except for middle class everything because, because, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so we can just keep zoning all of this crappy land off to the industrial people. Might as well give them some water while I'm at it, but it's not on our priority list. And fast forward and we'll see all of the industry rise. Looks like people are getting very, very sick and need more funding. There we go. About double. And the power plant's going to explode. Those poor wind turbines are going way too fast for their own good. Because that's totally how wind power works. I'm, I'm curious. If those grow that fast, I wonder if these will grow that fast. Reduce that. I just raised the health budget. That Fine. There. Better. Alright, so we're losing about $500 per month, so I'm just gonna rezone, well, I'm just gonna keep zoning, that is, all of this lovely, lovely land. More water for the people. Because again, I'm an awesome mayor like that, so. Let's also give them a playground right there for all of the adults for when they get home from work. You can climb the monkey bars, be very happy about it. And okay, it looks like my experiment's failing pretty much. Yeah, pretty miserably. They're not gonna... Commercial doesn't like to grow up as fast as it likes to grow out. So... Already a new power plant? We just got here! Just built that. Fine. Now, the point of efficiency um, where you want to give up on wind is about 7 or 8 wind turbines so when it comes to that uh, usually I quit at about seven just because well the city's usually growing so fast that you're just gonna have to demolish that seventh one almost immediately before you have to build an eighth because these have a uh, 50 month or 50 uh, civilians uh, was it a month or a year or something monthly monthly um, to pay for and uh, natural gas is 400 so well keep it or do this for now, we don't need to worry about it. So we going, yeah, you see 50, 400. I mean, they barely produce as much, but as much power. But at least they do stuff. They do enough for a newborn city to function. So I can't complain. Whoop. There we go. Whoa! Not my intention. There we go. Didn't expect that to happen. Okay. And now I think we're getting closer to breaking even on our taxes. I mean, not our taxes, our, uh, our budget. There you go. We're already getting a grave. There's so many people already dying because of the, the horrifying state of the city. We needed to add one of those. My stories are a lot more entertaining. Okay, so this has actually been kind of fun. Um, I'm going to cut the video short right when some houses start sprawling right here. BAM! Alright. Uh, we've reached the five year mark. That's my cutoff. That's what I stopped Bentonville at before. Going to go ahead and hit Control S. We're only $200 a month in deficit and we're still above $400,000. So I could have technically played this on hard and still done eh, okay on budget. I'd be cutting it close because we're still losing money, but you know what? I'll take that. So, without further ado, I think I said that already. Damn it. 
Goodbye, Internet. This is Cinemistic Games Toaster Evan providing you with quality entertainment. Brew.